This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Pursue Fitness Sportswear. I think I caught Savannah Marshall off guard there. Savannah, how are you doing? <laughs> I was kicking the furniture. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Obviously, we're down here today as you're part of Saturday Night's card, uh, of the undercard of Vasil Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell. Just talk about how your preparations have gone in camp. I'm really, really good. I've had a really tough couple of weeks. I feel fit, I'm on weight. Excited for Saturday. Talk so about your opponent for Saturday night and what do you know about her? She's a tough Southpaw Brazilian. She's solid. She's a really good girl and it's going to be a really good fight. Obviously it's your first fight under the matchroom banner as well. Do you feel any added pressure with that? Nah, not really. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I could, I could, be, in, could be in a social club. It doesn't really matter. I'm not. Eddie mentioned that he's got that ambition for yourself to go onto the Newcastle card and then beyond that we'll start off with the Newcastle card. What are you looking at with regards to opponents for that day? I think I've got one. I've got one and I don't want to say in case I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I think I think I've got one and I'm defending my WB a continental belt, so it'll be a ten rounder. <laughs> Peter mentioned as well that he wants to try and get uh, a world title fight for yourself before the year's out and then obviously the big one with Clarissa Shields at some point next year what, when you first joined up with Matrim when you first linked up with Peter what was the original plan that you set out between yourselves uh, I was like Peter I want to be a millionaire <laughs> help me no it was just um, I was just like look I, I want to I want a unified super middle no, obviously Clarissa was doing well at that point and I was like, you know, I know I know she's she's the main one out there, she's a pound for pound out there, I wanna unify uh, and come off with come off with her. Um was that was it? How big would a bout between yourself and Clarissa Shields be? I think if it's done properly it could be a massive. I, I think it's the biggest fight out there at the minute for female boxing. Um obviously I'm not a world champion. She's a unified world champion. So, like I said, that fight could be made next month. But what good's that to me? Do you know what I mean? I'm confident that I can beat her, and I'm confident that I will beat her. But I, it's a business, and it needs to be built up. Like I need to. Nobody knows who I am. Nobody knows anything about me. Um, no one's seen me fight. I, I have her. So I'm hoping within time, um, my profile will go up and people can see what what I'm made out of. Eddie touched on the fact that you'd faced Clarissa before as an amateur. Just want to reflect on that. Um, there's nothing for me to say. We, we boxed each other a good couple, a while ago, a couple of years ago. Um, it was in the amateurs. I beat her quite comfortably. Uh, yeah, she's fast. She, she's a, don't get me wrong. She's a brilliant boxer. I've got what it, I've got what it takes to beat her. Does that give you confidence knowing that, or do you also look at it from the other side of the coin that amateur and professionals two different styles? Oh, 100 percent. I'm I'm not the fighter I was then. I'm totally different. Um, I was I, I seen her last bout between uh, with Christina Hammer. I thought she it was the best she's ever boxed. But even still, I, I know what I can do, and I'm I'm confident in myself. Now, obviously, just to touch on this card once again, Huey Fury, your campmate, is going to face in Alexander Povetkin. Is Eddie touched on the fact that from Joseph Parker at 22 to Kubrat Pulev at 23 to Povetkin at 24, it's an impressive CV. Even if the two fights previous to Povetkin didn't work out the way that Huey would have wanted, it's still an impressive CV. But what are your thoughts on his fight about with Alexander on Saturday night? Yeah, some guy, Huey, isn't he? Some guy. Um, like, I said, I try, like you just said there, I train with Huey, so I've seen how hard he trains, I've seen him spa, and I, I really rate Huey. I really rate Huey, and this is his opportunity to show everyone in the world what he's made out of. Uh, it could be. I think. It, I think Huey could make this an easy night for himself. I hope he pulls it off, and I know. I know he can pull it off. Peter mentioned that he wanted to get a bit more of a mean streak into Huey. He wanted to see him let him let his right hands go a lot more. Have you seen that for yourself in camp? Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's boxing. You've got to be mean, haven't you? You've got to be mean. And obviously, the headline fight on that night, Vasil Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell. What are your thoughts on that one? Um, I'm really excited. To be fair, really excited. Um, I think it's Lomachenko's, but I think Luke will make it a hard night for him. Uh, but I think Lomachenko will get at him in the late, later rounds.
or Savannah Marshall. I appreciate your time as always. Thanks for being to myself and Boxing Social. Thank you very much.